Hi, welcome to Learning Logic Tarot. I'm Juju, and this is going to be a love and life reading, a general love and life reading for Sagittarius. Um, happy birthday, Sagittarius. When you are seeing this, it will be officially your season. So happy birthday. Welcome to your season, and I will be doing a daily reading for you um, during your season. Okay, so happy birthday, and um, yeah. I'm glad it's your season. So, this will be a love and general love and life reading. You can have Sagittarius in your sun, moon, rising, or Venus placements. Sagittarius, please keep in mind these readings are general, so take what resonates, leave the rest. If it's not your story, do not try to make it fit. And roles can be reversed. Um, everything's subject to free will and the will of the divine. No one is free from law of cause and effect. And um, if there's going to be an extended to this reading that will be linked in the sorry before i keep eating my hair and then the link to the extended will be in the description box below as well as the uh comments comment comments section below as well so definitely check that out if you were so inclined and um i think that's it okay all right let's get started so let's see Let's see. What is going on for Sagittarius, please? Okay, so you have the Seven of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So it feels like you are defending yourself quite vigorously. Or you feel the need to, or somebody does. And the Ten of Pentacles here. You're protecting your investments, your money, right? Your stability, right? Rightfully so. Okay. Okay. Some of you could also be in real estate of some kind, but you are protect. Also, you're if you have a family, you're protecting your family. If you've got kids, a spouse, whatever, you are protecting them. What else, please, for Sagittarius? You have the King of Swords in the reverse, so that would be an Aquarius. Um, you also have the Knight of Cups in the reverse, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You also have the temperance in the reverse. That is your card, um, Sagittarius. Okay, so we'll start it off really good. All right, so what is this about? All right, so this is timeless, but I don't feel like this is timeless. I feel, well, technically they're timeless, but I feel like this is not timeless at the same time. So... It feels like by the end of your birthday season, so that would be what? Beginning, not beginning, like the middle of December. It's like you're working good. You're defending what's yours, right? You're defending your family. You're defending your money, your your stability, your home, whatever, right? You got, a, you got somebody around you you're connected to. Now, this could be something that's happened from the past, something currently going on or coming towards you in the future. My readings can tend to be very future predictive, so I've been told. Um, this could involve, you know, a lover, a love interest. This could be, you know, a family member, friend, coworker, boss. You know, this could be a neighbor. This could be something in your overall community, your town, your city, your neighborhood. But there's something here with the King of Swords reverse is somebody who's quite violent or this is someone who is very deceptive, right? With the Knight of Cups reverse, uh, this is somebody who, <laughs> shit, like this is someone who's, one, not only are they very um, deceptive and very cold and apathetic towards you, they're not even fucking sorry about it. You're dealing with somebody, male or female, doesn't matter, that is not only lying straight to your face, you're right but they're also not remotely sorry about it and they're being very like emotionally immature almost erratic and very fucking chaotic i'm worried about it throwing you off your shit right because look you're protecting you're standing your ground you're defending your shit right you're doing good like beginning of your season right by the end of your season like you're topsy-turvy like you're upside down because somebody here is it feel, I'm not saying it's your fault. I'm not saying it's your fault. Okay, let me just say that. I'm not saying it's your fault. Right? I'm not saying it's your fault. What I am saying, though, is that somebody here, it seems like they, they are able to get you riled up. You know what I'm saying? 
could be a water sign, could be a strong cancer, strong Pisces. This person is able, yeah, I got chills on that. This person is able to get you out of pot. That's what it is. You got somebody between beginning of your season now to the end of your season, so the middle of about December, maybe a little after, who is getting you fucking riled up, right? They're getting you out of pocket. Also, too, we have Venus, right? what is it, Venus in your sign, Sagittarius, and we got all these different retrogrades and eclipse seasons and all this other shit that's going on. Check all the transits if you're into that. But a lot of that's like kind of fucking the city up, okay? So make sure that it's not that kind of stuff missing with you as well. But um, it's like it's like a somebody here wants to throw a wrench in your plans for no good reason. Just, just to do it. Just to, I don't know. Whomever this person is, they know what to say. That's something in my eye, I'm sorry, it's like an eyelash or something. They know what to say, they know what to do to get you out of pocket. I just heard you need to checkmate this bitch. Male or female, doesn't matter. You need to checkmate this bitch. Okay. <laughs> I guess you don't know what that means. All right, why is the seven of wands here, though? Seven of wands. The two of pentacles in the upright. So, you are make. You'll have to defend your decisions. That's what it is. Beginning of the month. Or, excuse me, beginning of your, your season. So now right around right now like right around this time right you'll have to to defend your your decision making seven of wands and two of pentacles you're, you're gonna have to defend your decisions which as a grown adult you really don't have to explain shit to nobody but for whatever reason i feel like you're being trying to trying to be kind of courteous to someone and you're explaining to them when really you don't need to explain to anybody but you're going to be defending your decision making or you know Sagittarius, somebody here is going to be defending their decisions towards you or are or, or with you. Like, you know, it could be an Aries that's, a, that's, if it's not you, then it's somebody that you're dealing with is defending their decision to, to you, like talking to you. You know what I'm saying? But I, I feel like it's more so you defending your decisions. Or you feel like you need to defend your decisions, but I, you know... Giving the rest of this, I mean, you could be dealing with an Aquarius and leaving that person out hanging to dry, or you have, or you will be. It's somebody you got like a soul tie with. Now, listen, I hope y'all know me by now that I don't, I don't get down with this twin flame shit. Okay, I think everybody's everybody else's soulmate. I feel like everybody's everyone's soulmate. Now, just because you might recognize somebody from a past life. That doesn't mean y'all were automatically lovers. You know, y'all could have been parent and child. Y'all could have been siblings. Y'all could have been, you know, any form of connection. Or y'all could have been total strangers and some crazy shit happened. You know what I'm saying? Y'all could have been war buddies. Y'all could have been friends. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's stuff like that, right? I don't know. But there's a connection here, right? With the four of pentacles reversed. I, I, I keep getting it. You're going to checkmate somebody. And I feel like it's an Aquarius. They are not going to be happy about that shit whatsoever. And it's going to be full on chaos. Okay. You might be checking somebody. It doesn't have to be an Aquarius. It could be a Gemini, a Libra. But I got very strong Aquarius here. And with the Ten of Pentacles here, it feels like somebody you've had a connection with for quite some time. Or if it's not that, then it's somebody in your family. If it's not romantic, it's somebody in your family that you feel like you've got to defend your decisions to. Like, they don't understand, right? Or, you know, if it's a partner, you feel like you have to defend you making decisions. Or this person, this partner makes a decision without you, Sagittarius. And they don't, you know, see how you feel about shit. But yet, when you make a decision, you got to go and talk to them about it first. You see what I'm saying? It doesn't seem fair, right? And if it's like, you know... It could obviously be vice versa, but if it's family, or maybe it's even a friend, maybe I don't, I don't know. But if it's family, like your family doesn't understand your process or what you're trying to do, and you feel like you have to defend yourself, like your decision making stuff, 
well, you know, if you want to explain to them, go ahead. But I, but nevertheless, I, I want you to understand you are under no obligation to explain it to your family. You don't have to explain shit to your family. If you ultimately, if you don't want to. It's just like, you, it's like you really feel like you have to defend yourself about what, what moves you're making. What is this Ten of Pentacles about? Well, whatever you're defending, whatever your decision you're making, it is bringing in money. Like good money. Like, like long-term legacy wealth, long-term relationships, long-term stability. What is this Ten of Pentacles about? Hold on. Three cards. We have the Page of Swords in the upright. We have the Ten of Swords in the upright. And then we have the Knight of Swords in reverse. Ugh. Okay. So, my eyelashes are getting in my eye. So, here's the deal. You have somebody that is talking mad shit or run, they could be talking shit. They're gossiping. I don't feel like it's malicious. They're just kind of like running their mouth, right? Well, maybe not. Hold on. Okay, so here's the thing, Sagittarius. I would, it would behoove you to keep your wins and your losses to yourself. Because I have a family dynamic. If it's a marriage, it might be coming to an end. And somebody here is watching it to come to an end. Or somebody here is, okay, if you're married, Sagittarius, you got somebody here on the periphery, okay, on the outside of it, watching, waiting, hoping, praying, wishing bad on your marriage. If it's a business idea, you got somebody on the outside. Now, whether they realize they're doing this or not, maybe they don't realize they're doing this. Maybe, you know, sometimes people can be jealous and they don't even realize they're, they're doing that, right? Maybe, right? But be careful. Don't tell people all what you got going on. Okay, don't tell people about your losses. Don't tell people about your wins because you, you can potentially very well um, got people that are like happy for your, that you're, that you're losing and hating on you if you're winning, winning. Keep, basically keep them guessing. Okay, because with the Knight of Swords reverse, this is petty. We're talking about petty. Okay, we're talking about backbiting, lie. We've got massive amounts of lies here emotional immaturity and fucking petty like shit was going good the moment you say something about what you got going on that's good for you or maybe you're struggling with something like if you're struggling with something they'll be like oh yeah I, I hope everything works out for you whatever and then they go fucking run their mouth right and make up all kinds of extra shit about it or you know oh I got some good shit going now if you I'm sure you got some a few trusted people around you right trust those people but I wouldn't go around telling everybody or posting about it because you got some, you got some fucking haters, okay? Let me just say that. You got haters, okay? And I don't feel like it's justified because it just literally looks like all you're doing is minding your own fucking business and just doing you, basically. And I honestly, I feel, I'm sorry to say this. It feels like some of the haters too, and I'm not trying to poke fun of the family, but I feel like some of the haters might be family members as well. But they don't realize that, that they're being a hater. They're just jealous. You see what I'm saying? Because maybe they're struggling. Very strong Aquarian energy here. We also got, you know, Cancer Pisces here. I swear I have something in my eye. What is this King of Swords about? But there's like pettiness. Like just avoid for your entire birthday season, Sagittarius. I want you to do this. Well, I'm going to, well, you can do whatever you want. I'm not going to tell you what to do because y'all are going to still going to do whatever the fuck you want, right? I'm going to heavily imply and directly encourage you to please, 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 please do not get involved in any, any messy drama. No drama for your entire start to finish birthday season. Mind what you say to people about your wins and losses. Keep them guessing, you know, 
Trust the ones that you know you can trust and don't tell nothing else. Don't post it. Don't. You okay? Because you got some petty, petty energy. Now that could be family members, that could be friends, you know, but they're not really like friends. But you know, you know what I'm saying? Like people. Okay? Could have and there's something going on with a partner if you are partnered up or married. What is this King of Swords in reverse about? Hold on. I swear I have something really in my eye. It's bothering me. It's an eyelash. I have to like trim my eyelashes. It's been a little while. I, I need to trim them again. I keep forgetting to do it. Because they get really too long. They don't grow as fast as they used to when I was younger. But, um, because I used to not be able to really see because they were so thick and so long. But, um, it might be time to trim them a little bit because it's really bothering me. What's this King of Swords in reverse about? Someone's really hella fucking mad. Page of Coins. Someone, okay. <laughs> okay, this is so fucking petty. Oh, why, why? Um. So this King of Swords reverse is going to literally lie and tell people that if it's romantic that you want them, okay. If it's if it's like you know if it's already a partner, this person is going to offer you the bare fucking minimum. Let's say you're married or you're already in a romantic relationship. They're going to literally breadcrumb you to bout slap insane. It's really going to irritate the shit out of you. I'm telling you right now. It's going to irritate the snot out of you. Okay? If it's, you know, an ex or whatever, this person is going to lie and say, oh, you are you just want them, yada, yada, yada. You know, and it, it, do not get involved in the messiness because I feel like, Somebody here is going to try to catch, you know, get you involved in it. Oh, Knight of Cups in reverse. I'm so sick of this fucking shit. Eight of Cups in the upright because you walk away. That's why. It's like you leave somebody and they tell everybody they left you. Which I don't really think you truly give a shit, but you might. But whatever it is, it's really getting you out of your energy, okay? It really is causing an imbalance. This, if you get involved with the with the messiness, with the drama, if you post a lot about uh, drama or calling it out or posting about your wins or your losses, you know, that kind of stuff. And I'm not saying don't do that. I'm not judging you. I'm not saying don't do that. I'm saying be mindful of that because... It, it, I'm telling you right now, I really feel it. It's going to really get you out of pocket. That's temperance reverse. That's really being out of pocket. I'm not saying you were not, uh, that it's not justified or that it's not warranted. But that's what they want. You're giving them what they want. You see what I'm saying? Whomever or whatever this is, it, it, if you get out of pocket and you post about it or the, somehow they find out about it or you go off, that's what they want. It's all about getting a reaction out of you. You know what I'm saying? I want you to stay your, your beautiful, handsome, whatever, your awesomeness. I want you to stay awesome. Okay? So stay awesome. <laughs> Do not feed into the trolls. Do not feed into the bullshit. Do not feed into the drama. Do not feed into the messy. And I'm telling you right now, someone here is going to be lying their ass off. I mean, it's straight lying their ass off. It's like they want to save face. But they save face to what, though? You, you know what I'm saying? It's just, why is temperance reversed? Don't let them get you. Do not let them get you out of pocket. Yep. Three of swords in the upright. Yeah, I'm telling you, you'll regret it. I'm telling you right now. And I'm not judging you. We all have our moment. We all have our moments. We all have our moment. I get it. Also, too, if you're married, either you're leaving your partner 
or your partner might just up and leave you. Just FYI. And that might, so Sagittarius, your partner may up and leave you and that might fucking, like your partner or your spouse, husband, wife, whatever, might like up and just dip. And that's going to really fuck you up. Or, you know, you might do that and that's really going to fuck them up. But I feel like some, we start off really good and then it really goes to shit show real quick. So I would just, I don't know what to tell you to do because it just feels like it ends and you not, you being out of character, okay, you get, you, you know, you, not that I'm judging you or anything, like you being imbalanced or not, not that you're imbalanced, that's not even the right word, like you getting out of pocket, you getting like really upset and like deeply heartbroken, that's how it ends. I don't like that ending. And it, it, it's from somebody walking away. Or you're walking away and this is somebody else feeling this way. There's a lot of deception. There's a lot of... Ten of Swords is also here. That's a very, very painful ending to possibly a family dynamic. Or you might have to walk away from family or longtime friends. Like... Libra season is about justice, right? Scorpio season is about transformation and endings. Well, Sagittarius season is about judgment. Scorpio season is about judgment too, but really Sagittarius season is about judgment and movement and luck and moving forward, right? Movement. You might be making like major judgment calls here or make final judgments on someone or someone be ma might be making those on you. So, yeah. But whomever this is, they do not give a fuck or you do not give zero fucks. Okay? It is heartbreaking. It's hurting somebody's heart. It's breaking someone's heart. Hopefully it's not yours. You know? I'm not wishing a heartbreak on anybody else, but I'm reading for you. So, all right, well, in the extended, I'm going to look at, which the link to the extended will be in the description box in the comment section below. I'm going to look at your energy tempers reverse, the three of swords and the upright and the ten of swords. I'm going to look at these. I'm going to really kind of dig into those because those are really like, like in the face. Very intense. All right, let's see who you could be dealing with. Who is Sagittarius potentially dealing with regarding this reading? Taurus, a Gemini, but it could be any sign really, a Pisces, yourself or another Sagittarius, Aquarius, we had that very strongly too, the Aquarius, a Leo, Ooh, Libra, and Aries. So, Sagittarius, so you can be dealing with an Aries, Taurus, Aquarius, Gemini, Leo, Pisces, Libra, or yourself, Sagittarius. Sorry about that confirmation. Okay, so keep that in mind. All right, let's see. Let me get you some scribble tiles. So this could be first, middle, last initial of your name, their name. Um, it can also make words. It's kind of like a puzzle. I swear, man, this is driving me in like bonkers right now. Okay, sorry. Let's see, what do you have for Sagittarius, please? Okay. Again, happy birthday. Welcome to your season. I wish it was a better reading. D. A. S. E. S T V U S D E N N E 
I, J, T, and E. All right, let's see. Let me get you some guidance real quick. Guidance, please, for Sagittarius regarding this reading. Sagittarius regarding this reading. Okay. <clears throat> Yo. Really? Like, fucking really? Okay. I'm sorry. You ain't gonna like this. You got Banshee in reverse, dude. Or do that. I don't know. Whomever you are. You got the fucking... I got chills. You got Banshee in reverse. I'm also gonna clarify this motherfucker in the extended. Okay, here we go. Listen. Please. Stay to yourself a little bit through your season, okay? Like, okay. Don't let anybody get you out of pocket. You know? Hold on, I gotta find it. It's called Bad Omens and Wrath is what its theme is. And it's in the reverse. And it says, uh, Banshee brings the message of wrath when seen in reverse. And it says, the powers have brought you this card as a warning. The powers have, oh, I already said that. It says, wrath is a dangerous energy for those who have it. Okay, you may think your anger is hurting whoever it's directed towards, but anger only poisons the spirit of the one who is feeling it. Holding a grudge is the equivalent of a banshee. Someone so lost in heartache. Remember, we have the heartache, okay? I want you to avoid all of this mess, okay? Okay, they can only speak of more tragedy. You can choose to hold on to anger and be reborn into something sinister or you can let your anger go and be reborn knowing the powers of pure and unconditional love. You have a choice here. And I feel like it's going to be up to you, but I seriously, please listen to this. Don't let anyone get you out of pocket. Maintain self-control. Okay? Because I feel like you're going to be tested and you're going you're gonna to have a choice. You're going to have a choice to make. And how or how these people are and how you react to it, it's going to really fucking matter. Because I feel like people are trying to get you out of pocket and to get, to get you all riled up and get a reaction on purpose. Nevertheless, how you react to it, you are responsible for. No matter what they did, no matter what they're doing, no matter what they say, no matter what they do, I understand, right? Nevertheless, you will be held accountable for your actions and or lack thereof, okay? Or what you say or what you don't say, whatever. You will be held accountable. So what I'm saying is don't get involved in the messy don't you know you know what I mean because that's I'm telling you this is like big warning this is like a big 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 warning okay I'm gonna really dive into that and extend it all right so that has been your first boom your first uh daily birthday season reading I hope that it helps you I'm sorry that it was like that but, you know, I don't control the messages, Sagittarius. You know, you know, but I love you. I love you very much. And um, I'm here for you, okay? I'm here for you. We're going to get you through this. It's going to be okay, whatever this is, okay? All right, well, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for being here. Check out the extended and um, I love you. Till next time.